uh, solve a problem that is uh, about graphometric analysis. So this is sample problem uh, of chapter 12, the first sample problem. So the calcium in a 200 ml sample of natural water was determined by precipitating the cation as calcium oxalate. The precipitate was filtered, washed, and ignited in a crucible in an, with an empty mass of 26.6002 and the mass of the crucible and calcium oxide was 26.7134 grams. Calculate the concentration of the calcium in water wherein we are we are asked that the units will be in grams for every 100 ml of the water. So, please take note that the procedure for graphometric analysis is always applied in the problem. So, as mentioned in our PowerPoint that in order for us to determine the, the amount of our unknown substance or the, the amount of the desired substance, there must be two data that we must be able to know. One is the amount of the sample and the other one is the, the amount in grams of the dried, uh, some, uh, dried precipitate or dried uh, substance. Okay? Now, we are given, so we have now the given here. Take note that the sample, which is 200 ml of water, we are going to determine the amount of the calcium that is present in this uh, water. Okay? Just like in our mineral water, you have there some minerals that are found in the water. So, analysis of the calcium that is present in the water sample, wherein the sample amount is 200 ml. So since that is, of course, a liquid, so how are we going to, to get the calcium in the water? So for gravimetric analysis, we are going to precipitate it out using a precipitating agent. So a precipitating agent here is being added to precipitate out the calcium ion. So the calcium is uh, being precipitated in terms of calcium oxalate, okay? So after the precipitation process, it would be filtered. Then after filtering, the precipitate should be washed to, to remove the contaminants. And after that, it should be dried by igniting. So it will be ignited until we, uh, we would be able to get a constant mass. Okay, so of course, if you are going to ignite the precipitate to dry it, of course, it will be placed in the crucible since crucible would uh, resist a very high temperature. So we have here a data for the empty crucible, which is 26.6002, and take note of the take note of the mass. This is up to four decimal point because analytical balance can read up to thousands okay that is the smallest uh, the smallest mass that it can read is 0 0.0001 gram okay so we have also the precipitate is being placed into the crucible and it is being ignited so once calcium oxalate is ignited carbon dioxide will be released so what will be the residue is calcium oxide that is why you have the mass of the crucible and the calcium oxide. It's no longer calcium oxalate because it is ignited, so carbon dioxide has been removed. So the, the residue now that is found in the, that remains in the crucible is calcium oxide, and it has a mass of 26.7134 grams. So this is the mass of the crucible and the calcium oxide. So we are going to, since we are going to determine the amount of the calcium so by subtracting this one so if you are going to determine the mass of the calcium so get the difference between these two data 
Okay, so these are now the data that you are going to use in order for you to determine the amount of the calcium oxide only. Okay, so by getting the difference, the amount of calcium oxide is 0.1132 grams calcium oxide. Okay, so from here, you have calcium oxide. So the calcium is in the form of calcium oxide. Our objective is to determine the concentration of the calcium ion per calcium in the units of grams per 100 ml. Okay. Now, since this is calcium oxide, so from here, first is we are going to determine the, the number of moles of calcium oxide. Convert this one to moles calcium oxide and from moles calcium oxide you get the number of moles of calcium then from moles of calcium you get the number of grams of calcium from this data okay so to determine the so i'll just uh, solve it directly the grams of calcium so we have to determine the grams of calcium from calcium oxide. So, calcium oxide has a mass of 0 0.1132 grams, that is calcium oxide, since you're going to change to another substance from calcium to calcium oxide to calcium, so you have to convert this one first to moles. So, one mole of, one mole of calcium oxide, that is how many grams? The molar mass is given, that is 56.077 grams of calcium oxide. So you can cancel out this one. So if you do the computation, you will get moles of calcium oxide. So up to this portion, that is moles of calcium oxide. So you have 0.1132 divided by 56.077. So that is... 2.02 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of calcium oxide. Since we're going to get the mass of calcium in grams, so from moles calcium oxide, you determine moles of calcium. So get the ratio between calcium and uh, calcium oxide. So for every one mole of calcium oxide, there is only one mole of calcium. Okay. So you can cancel this one, cancel that one. So what remains is moles of calcium. Since we are going to determine the number of grams, so multiply this one using the molar mass of calcium, which is 40.078. It's given. 40.078 is, is grams of calcium for every one mole of calcium. So you can cancel this out. So your answer then will be, this is now the number of grams of calcium. So just multiply from here, that is moles of uh, calcium oxide. So times 40.078. So we have 0 0.08, 0 0.0809, 0 0.0809. This is now grams of calcium. Okay? Now, the required is the concentration of the calcium ion or calcium for every 100 ml. Now, the given is 200 ml. So, you are going to determine first the concentration of, so I'll just write it here, concentration of calcium will be that will be in grams for every ml so if you have 0 0.0809 grams of calcium divide this one by 200 ml so you have now the concentration of calcium that is for every ml so that is 0 4.045 so this is grams per ml of water. So meaning, uh, that's uh, times 10 to 
This is 4.045 2 times 10 to the negative 4. This is grams per ml. Okay. Now, this concentration is, this is the amount, take note, it is very, very small. That is only 0 0.004, 0 0.045 grams of calcium for every 1 ml of the water. Now, since we are asked to determine the, the concentration for every 100 ml, so therefore, the concentration of calcium for every 100 ml, so you just multiply this one by 4.0452 2 times 10 to the negative 4. This is grams for every ml. Okay? So that there will be no change. There will be no change. You multiply this one by the ratio of 100 ml over 100 ml. This one, 100 ml over 100 ml is just equal to 1. So it is just the same that you are multiplying it by 1. You can cancel, the, uh, cancel out the unit. Cancel the unit. Okay, so this will be now, you multiply this one by 100. So that is 0 0.04045 0 .04 grams of calcium for every 100 ml of the water. Okay, so if you have 100 ml of water, the amount of calcium present in there is 0 0.04045 grams. So this is now the concentration of calcium that is present for every 100 ml of the water. Okay, so that's problem 12.1.